Well, my first baseball experience was just growing up. I grew up in a family of two older brothers, uh, baseball family, baseball community, um, competing in the backyard with my brothers and the other, you know, the other kids, you know, in the in the in the neighborhood. So uh, we got we played baseball seasonally, and then we played football, and then basketball. So whatever season it was, you know, we took that sport up, and uh, I think it really just helped me, you know, down the road. And uh, the second best thing, other than playing, is coaching. And I think I just felt that need to, to be involved, uh, to help pl young players develop both on and off the field. Uh, it was very uh, important to me that I, that I be part of a team. And uh, so I got into coaching uh, at the University of Nevada as a, as, as a really a graduate assistant in 1991 and uh, kind of worked my way up now to, to this. And so it's been a long journey for sure, but I love coaching. Uh, it's not all roses, you know, it's, 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 it's an up and down. Baseball is a very up and down sport. I mean, there's a lot of negativity a lot of times when it comes to the game and if you don't know how to deal with those things. So we really work hard on the mental game, you know. Um, well, obstacles throughout my career as a baseball coach, um, It was my father. Uh, he passed away in July of 2010, and it was right after we played for a national championship. And I still have dad on my hat, you know, underneath my hat, uh, under, underneath the bill. I put my, put my dad, uh, D-A-D, and I, it's just a, 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 you know, a memory every day that I look at uh, that I cherish. And um, he didn't see us win a national championship in 10, but I know that he was looking down you know, honest in, in 13. And uh, so it was, a, it was a special, special moment um, that we won that championship for a lot of different people, but certainly my dad was on top of the list. It's not, it's not a nine to five job. It's just not, it's not a Monday through Friday job. You know, it, it's a, it, it takes a team to do this. You know, my wife, my wife and my kids are my support as well. I mean, um, they, they, they know this life and they know uh, how much time and commitment we have to our program, and um, that that breaks my heart sometimes. How much you know time I've spent away from them, but at the end of the day, they know that I'm in a good place and that I'm doing the right things, and that I'm supporting them and, and loving them, and and just uh, you know doing my job. <laughs> yeah, I mean Julia is a, is a freshman at UCLA. Very proud of her. She's on the dance team. Uh, she got into UCLA and. She's gone into a sorority. Uh, I'm very, very proud of her, of what she's done. Uh, Jack, my, my uh, oldest son, is a junior at Servite. I'm very proud of Jack. Jack is playing football and running track and field at Servite. Um, he's matured into a very, um, you know, good young man. And then there's Ryan. Ryan is 14, he's playing freshman football and baseball at Servite, and he's doing well in school. And then there's Gabrielle, uh, Gabby, who we call, uh, is in the seventh grade at St. Hedwig. And uh, so two boys, two girls. Uh, my wife, Lisa, is very, very busy, uh, but I'm very proud of my family, and I love my family very much. And then trying to form this team, we're building. We're building, we're getting better. That, that's what we want to strive. That's what we want to focus, is getting better striving every day to, to be a better teammate, to be a better coach, uh, to be a better team, to, to have this year's identity. So uh, satisfy, you know, my passion is still as high as, I'm, I'm, I'm as hungry as I've ever been in terms of getting better uh, as a team and, and, and as a coach.